Welcome to this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Atomic Absorption Spectrometer or AA to carry out inorganic analysis. When you come into the lab you need to be wearing your lab coat fully done up and have your safety glasses on and over your eyes. All of the lab scripts contain COSH and risk assessment information and you need to have read this before you start working. So you've made up all your samples, you're going to come to the AA and you should have this screen with the green traffic light. If you don't see that screen when you come in, you need to come and get me, one of the technicians or the demonstrator, and they'll set the instrument up so that this is what you see. The first thing you need to do is press start and then wait for the pop-up, which is telling you to aspirate with deionized water. So this should already be set up with that. So the tube that's aspirating the instrument should be in deionized water. So press OK. While this is happening, this will make some noise, but this is the instrument getting onto the right setting. Now the instrument is ready to run through your sample. So it's asking for the first one, which is the blank. So take the lid off your sample and put the tube into the sample. Press OK. It's going to collect in triplicate. And on the screen, it will be coming up with your values as it's taking them. Now you're ready for your next sample and it's going to tell you which concentration and it's the 1.25 milligrams per litre. Then when it's in, press OK to start it. And again, as it runs, your values will be coming up on the screen. You've run the standards. Now it's time to run your exhibit. The exhibit screen, as you can see, is a little bit different. They're pre-labeled. So all you need to do is get the tube in your exhibit and again, press OK. And it will take your measurements. And you repeat that for all four exhibits. After your fourth exhibit is run, you'll get this screen will come up. Just click stop and make sure that the tube from the instrument is in the ionized water. You can now note down all of the data so that you can plot your own calibration curve and determine the concentration of the exhibits. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions send me an email.